This is on air. But I have it private anyway, so no nobody could join. You say that now, and then she's gonna come up on fucking Instagram. Local celebrity, Joel's McFly. Talking wild shit. <laughs> wild <laughs> mierda on YouTube. Yeah, what's that picture that I followed you on today? Uh, Tim Lincecum, the wild, uh, the freak. The freak. He's, uh, did he win the Cy Young twice? Was it twice? Three times? Yeah. Well, three World Series rings. And, what did you say, Ben? The one about you. What? So did he say what that you made say? you? I'm you. I don't know. I just be talking my shit on Twitter, man. He said, I like your style, fam. And you read a lot of jacket. It's the jacket. It's the jacket, Jamal. Yeah. Like there was one there was one time there was one time we tweeted and commented on I guess like a book that's man. That's something like you just like so you're not gonna you're not gonna say nothing about the eighty five years or some such thing. Oh like no, somebody was like, the Yankees haven't won since 2008, uh, 2009. I'm like, is that 86 years? Yeah. <laughs> niggas said, nigga, niggas put the fucking the office shit when he said, boom, roasted. <laughs> I was like, yo, why? Like, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy your win. Like, why? Yeah. That's, just, that's, all they, that's all they do, man. It's, it's weird to me. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. That shit. I'm gonna be up be real honest. Seeing Bird hit you every single time. No, nah, so come to find out that, that injury, he was okay. Um, fluky, a fluky. Listen, I understand why the Yankees specifically sent him for X-rays and probably put him through a whole battery of tests after that happened because. Yo, yo, like, hey, man, you go, you hurt again? Yeah. He's playing it's, tomorrow. It's yeah, he's good. He's, he's playing tomorrow. That's good. I, I don't want to see the dude hurt. Like, if he had, had an injury, if he had an injury that hit that one, this season, like, what do you do? Like, it is what it is. At this point, it is what it is. I ain't saying shit. I'm only, uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you the people that I'm gonna be upset. Like, I'll be upset if they get hurt. Kind of the entire pitching staff. Um, Judge, of course, Gary Sanchez. I think it's probably easier for me to name the people that I wouldn't be upset that, you know. So I'll probably go with Bird. And the what? Torres and the Hard they get hurt. Yeah, I mean, I'll be upset if And the got hurt, for sure. I mean, I don't talk about more injuries. Uh, I don't like that conversation. Yeah. But that's what it's been this this freaking spring, yo. They, yo, people can get hurt left and right. It's frustrating because we won a hundred games. A lot of our players went down. You know, Judge missed time. Sanchez missed time. You know what I mean? Uh, Bird obviously, and it's like we won a hundred games. It's like yo, we get away from that. If we miss Didi for a little bit, yo. Yeah, yeah you gonna miss Didi. You gonna miss yeah. Didi for sure. Uh, hopefully, to the whiskey because. I think I think I think Tula Whiskey is gonna be uh Torres Torres can move to short and um DJ LeMahieu can move to second to be a second base. Which is not bad. I don't think it's bad at all. If you, if you, you got Tyler Way too good. Yeah, you got Tyler Way, you got Tyler Way. And we said we said this dude back to um Triple A. Frazier? Yeah. Yeah, he had to go. I have to go. I mean, he's he's not trash, but the, his show is trash. Yeah, it's just a, uh, you know. Hmm? Bro, he, he came into camp, like I said, he came into camp saying, yo, I'm taking Brett Gardner's job. And then Brett Gardner was like, not chill. And uh, he went four for like 46 or something like that. And he's in wow. the yeah, Brett Gardner got off his tractor. For six for 36, sorry. Man, Gardner's like, uh, why are you throwing dirt on my grave? Like, you ain't gonna take no one's job, bucko. Or, yeah, so I mean, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes you think like, 
hopefully he kind of he reaches his potential but he's he's you know i wish him the best but it's starting to eke into my mind like yo what if he you know what if he doesn't realize these things yeah like we were we were more excited about the clint frazier trade and fire rising and uh ben heller that trade you know with cleveland than what we were uh with the Cubs, with Gleyber Torres, and yeah, you know, Actually, yeah, we 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 were more excited. Yeah, we were way more excited, you know. And then come to find out, the the trade that's producing a lot more is the Cubs. Yeah, the Cubs trade is the one that's produced really well for the Yankees. So, huh. nonetheless, it is what it is. Whatever. I mean, let's see. I mean. How old, how old was Judge when he came up? 25, 26, no, 25? He's still young, that's the thing. And that shit with the, uh, with the concussions last year, it's no joke, you know what I mean? That, that concussion stuff. And I, you know, with this whole new concussion stuff, I started to think like, damn, have I ever had a concussion? And then I started to think like, yeah, I probably did. Like, if you ever fall and you're, like everything goes black. You ever fall, get hit in the head, and then everything goes black for a little second? Yeah. Yeah. Or like when you were a kid and you fell, like everything went black. It's like, whoa. You, really, you just, you, you really just dust yourself. Like there was one time I was in uh, the park and I was rollerblading down a hill and there was a rock on the floor and I, I should tip over and I fell. Oh, I hate those little fucking rocks. I hate them, yo. Yeah, my nigga, I hit my head. As my head slammed against the cement. Bang. Oh, my. And then it was years ago. My man, the cement probably screamed out, man. <laughs> it's it's out. Stop. And I got, Stop. The thing was crazy though is that for a split second I knocked out, and then I came, I, I, I came back, and I'm like, and some white dude was like, "Hey, man, you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine." <laughs> I wonder how my life would have been different if I never got, got hit. In the head. I yeah, lost. Yeah, that shit like that used to happen to me on my skateboard all the time, yo. Know? Like knock out, baby. Yo, are we going down the hill like <laughs> that little rock I see from oh, all the way? There's nowhere I could go. It's like no, <laughs> no helmet. Yo, no helmet. Fuck out of here! Is that hell? You can't wear a helmet. You street no skating? You can't wear a helmet. Jamal, no one fucks with him. I, I remember this one kid showed up at the courthouse with a helmet. <laughs> and elbow pads and knee pads. You're like, yo, what the hell? I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they, yo, he was, yo, they roasted him alive, bro. You know what that's like? That's like coming to, like coming to the party and throwing like a whole like, outfit. Remember, <laughs> Not even, yo. They, they're like, yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Let's go get some bubble wrap for him, yo. Bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get hurt, if you don't get hurt, you don't learn it. That's true, yo. And boy, I got hurt. There you go. That was very it good. sucks. It sucks with that because with, with that, with the skateboarding, if you don't get hurt, you don't, uh, you don't, don't get it. Right. Uh, my, friend, my friend broke his ankle in front of me, yo. You saw bone? I he nah, he's, I heard it. Ah. That shit said that nigga jump. Nah, he jumped. He was jumping like the stairs, bro. And he landed like this, like his ankle was like this. Like so imagine you jumping from a flight of stairs. It's what okay, it's enough it's enough that you jump that up and down or whatever. But this nigga jumped off of like it was like seven flights of stairs, right? And he jumped, he landed like this. And his skateboard like that, and his his freaking foot. Man, Brian McCann looks like a fucking what the, the hell's hell going on? Take a shower, bro. What was that? Brian McCann. Yo, he he landed with his ankle on the floor, jumping off of seven. Yo, oh. I heard I heard it. He said, <laughs> and a ah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, yo. And his, his, his foot's still like, like weird, man. Like. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. Yeah, what are you wearing? He bounced? Yeah, I see. Wow, he really bounced. Yeah. Mm. I, thought, I think Josh responded in the chat. And, uh, MLB chat. Wow. 
bounce. Hey, look at that jacket, B. Nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it's gray, though. Nah, it's too loud. See, the reason I like this shit, this is Yankees. Subtle. The classy. Subtle. John, John Heyman. Yeah, bro. You see this shit? This is. Why on the chest? I got the NY across the chest. She's like the best. Just fire. Man. Got this shit right here in the corner. Mmm. NY up top. Pinstripe strong in the chest. Let's go. That's trash. Like, cause you're, gonna, you're gonna have to wait till like October to wear that shit again, bro. Who's sad, bro? April be cold. Eh. What do you mean? All right. You're going to go out there. It's going to be one day where you're going to go out with just a T-shirt, right? And then in the daytime, it's going to be like, oh, man, I'm glad I left the coat. And you're going to get out of work, and it's going to be like, shit, it's cold. What the hell? Man, Wendy, you're going to be upset. I'm telling you. Well, that's, a that's, how that's how it is. That's how it is in the spring. That's why people get sick. People get sick in the spring and, and in fall because the weather's changing. Yo, 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 I'm back on because yo, I need, <laughs> I need that login information that you you promised you was gonna give me. Huh? What? What's going on? Oh, not niggas is deaf, right? Niggas is deaf now, right? What the angel, son? Wow, I was about to get real <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Yo, nigga like said. I said, oh, 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 hold on. Eject. Oh, babe. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's funny. Bro, this guy, that right, hoodie's not fire. I don't think you know, I like it. Because yeah. they got the NY, though. I mean, it's big. Oh. Oh, oh. It's too much. Too much. Nah, it's good, man. So I, I like this. I want to try it. I want to see if I can find out um, if I can get two feeds. On the OBS software or three, I think I could do only two, and I can't do the third. Do I have, do I have to create an account? Cause you're getting darker by the second. What the fuck? Um, where for our open broadcast software? Yeah. Oh, um, there's a there's a thing like a light that you could buy. I think, well, the Apple Store sells it, but I already know that they're gonna be selling it for like beyond high price. So you could. Try to look for it, but there's a light that has like a suction cup at the other side. You can put that shit on the back of your computer and you get perfect light. Yeah, I need to. But I really, I really want to do like when I do the podcast, I want us to be in one area recording and then you know, throughout the week or whatever. If we do a podcast throughout the week, then we could do it like this. Yeah, I want to be able to do it like in person, like you know, you next to me, we talking. But well, we still got the camera on us, like different camera angles and shit on us. Um, yeah, we could do that. And eventually have different, you know, we could do. Um, now, for this, the way that this works, like this, what I like about this is that we could do uh, live streams. So if we're watching the game, we could be talking. Um, about the game and people are in here, whatever they're talking, chatting. chatting. Yeah, they're chatting on the side and and all that. So, you know, that's one thing that we could definitely do there. Um, damn, I wonder if I could make this not private anymore. Hold on. I wonder what will happen. Oh, it is. Okay. Can I make it available to the world? 
I don't think I can anymore. Because it's not. Oh, I can. Hold on. Let's do players. Uh, let's just see. Let's see what happens. I don't even know if anybody's even gonna hop in this shit. Niggas don't give a shit. Niggas don't give a shit. You put it live? Like live live? Um Yes. I think we're live. Right? Hello world. What? Yeah, we're live right now. We we are live right now, I think. What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly. We ready. Let's go. I'm kind of hype. Um, let me see here. Oh, you wrote right here. Group chat. I wonder if that's how it works. I, I don't really know. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to test this out. Pause there for a second. What happened? You paused there for a second. I was talking. I wasn't talking. All right. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. I'm trying to see if somebody talks in the chat. Oh, there he goes, Ryan Beck says, are you going to be at the stadium on opening day? Uh, I am. I plan on it. Hopefully I'm there, you know, sooner. I, To be honest, I haven't gotten my ticket yet, bro. <laughs> Have not gotten my ticket yet. So, so, of course, we're streaming right now, but... um. Yeah, we're streaming right now, but I don't, I don't see like the question system. Oh, cause you, oh man, I think you're gonna have to go out. It doesn't show on here, like people coming. I'm going come to where it says uh, Q and A is opening up for me. Where do you see that? On the side, Q and A. All right. This is the top chat. Let me look at the live chat here. All right, there you go. So I'm still working on this to see if we're going to do this. Um, it says three people are spectating. Hi. No, but I have. Um, so I'm just testing this out. I'm trying to use Google Hangouts because I want to see if this is where I want to record my um, my podcast. I'm going to be having come out soon, and you have my boy Chris here. Hello, world. Yeah, that's him right there. What up, NY Captain? What's good, Alex? What's up, peoples? Ryan says, if the Knicks get Zion, will he overtake Judge as king of New York? Absolutely not. At least not yet. Well... You know, I'm gonna be very honest. Yes, I'm gonna be very honest. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. New York City is a basketball town. Yeah, the Knicks fans are starved, they haven't had shit for years, bro. And that's how it is. And it's he would, uh, to be honest, unless he comes with KD, then KD is probably gonna be that was a great question. One of the biggest, of the biggest mm -hmm. people in here. Um. Saquon Barkley is king of New York. All right. I mean, it's a nice trifecta. I mean, the Giants are, like, trading everybody, though. So whatever that means. First pick in fantasy? Yes. He is. All right. All right. Where are you? Does this show more here now? Okay, what's up? What's up? Oh, Chris, if you want to see the chat, you'd have to go to like the uh, like the YouTube. Oh, YouTube? 
You guys will go to YouTube and be able to see it through there. Okay. And then you'll be able to see the chat. <coughs> oh, okay. <coughs> so I could control it. Uh, Apparently, I, I, I could control it from here. All right. Um, let me see. Judge will stay king, in my opinion. Zion KD will be more national, though. Bro, I don't think you understand. The, the Knicks are huge, bro. Huge. Huge. Zion KD will be more national, though. You have to mute that, Chris. Okay. And then you have... Um, yeah, the Knicks haven't won since 73, exactly. Thoughts on Clint Frazier getting sent to AAA? I mean, it's unfortunate, but it was kind of expected. And it's just so crazy that even with the injuries, he still didn't make the team, but he just did not. He didn't produce. He had a bad spring, you know? Horrible spring. Horrible spring. But, you know, maybe him getting consistent at bats in AAA and all of that, maybe he could be able to come – come back and be able to help out later. But like I was telling Chris before we got on here, it was just like, bro, you come into spring, you know what I mean? Saying I'm here to take Brett Gardner's job. Bro, you can't go six for what? Six for 40 something? Six for 46 or something like that? It's a fail. Yeah. Yankees bigger than the Knicks. Mm -hmm. Uh, bro, I understand what you're saying. And I'm, I'm a big time, bro. I'm a Yankee fan. I don't, I don't care. Maybe? I think that goes without saying, but internationally, maybe I'm telling you right now, New York is a basketball town, too. It's a huge basketball town. Like, there's a huge part of the population of street basketball. Mm, who wins March Madness? I don't know. Maybe Duke. Are you going to be at the game on Thursday? Yes, God willing. I haven't gotten a ticket yet, but yes, God willing. Christian, you called him Red Thunder? He doesn't want to be called Red Thunder, man. <laughs> the Wildling, right? I think it's the Wildling that he wants to be called. Um, Some shit. I think it's the Wildling that he wants to be. Joe, are you a New York Giants fan? Yes, I am. Uh, Trout deserved his contract, in my opinion, and maybe more, considering what Harper got. I agree. I thought they, I thought they got a discount. What about you, Chris? Trout? I think I, Trout should have been the first 500 male player. Bro, they, I thought the Angels got a freaking discount. That's what I was looking at. I was like, whoa, they they only they only got him for 400 and like 12 years and. But even still, he still made a hundred million dollars more than Bryce Harper. Crazy. He's wild. Yeah, crazy. Um, you think he should have gone to wait, waited to free agency? Nah. If you already know where you're gonna go when you're getting paid, just stay there. If they if they're willing to commit to you and give you that money, why not? Or you see what these guys are going through with free agency right now. It's just annoying. Honestly, I feel like he's going to be traded in the middle of that contract. Well, he has a he doesn't have an opt out, I, and you know what? The Angels are a team that has money. You know what I mean? So they're not like they have money, but they got a like they got a strong team. Like you know who? Like okay, the Rays extended Blake Snell, right? And they gave him well, what was his contract, guys? I think it was five years, fifty million or sixty. I don't know, something like that. But they gave him an extension. And I'm thinking, damn, that's a that's a good deal for them, right? Um, he could get traded. I mean, that's like a archer type deal, right? Uh, Glaber was awful in the spring train in spring training last year. He could still come back. You're right. He could, could still come back. Uh, he did get better defensively, from what I've read. Tim Frazier did get better defensively. 
Guardy low key had a great spring. I don't think it was low key, bro. I, well, I mean, what's Guardy batting right now? <laughs> I mean, he the last time Guardy? I looked, he was yeah, he was up in like the four hundreds or something, wasn't he? Let's take a look. Let's see, Gardner three seventy nine. I don't know if that's low key. He went over three today. You want to know who high key is having a great spring? How about uh, Mr. Aaron Judge? How about that? That guy is high key having a great spring. And you know what? I'll say, and I, I if you want to go low key, I probably go Giancarlo, bro. Because I feel like people sleeping on Giancarlo, like they're not really paying attention too much on what Giancarlo's doing, bro. He, he's right there with Aaron Judge. He's right there with Aaron Judge. Gardner. Let me see. He's batting 438. No, nah, he's batting he's batting 379 right now. Oh, so it went down. Okay. I mean still. He 379. Today, so spring yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Who do you think? Who do you want at first? Greg Bird or Voight? Uh Voight. 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 I'll go with Voight. But I want Greg Bird to prove me wrong. I'll say that. Uh, what up, Hawkeye? How you doing? How many people we got in here? I oh, we're up to fifteen people. It's because I didn't, I didn't put this out, the stream out the right way. But it's all good. I wonder if I can share this to my. All right, I'm about to get it right now, Chris. Hold on. Boy. Does Mookie deserve Trout contract? He's older. Um, years. No, I think it, Trout is older, isn't he? He's older by, like a, by a year, I think. Trout's what twenty eight. Um, I think he's twenty eight. Uh, he is older, but oh yeah, I, I was twenty eight. I put up the tweet. Uh, and flies, bro. But you have. Trout. Yeah, Trout is older than Bats, I think. I believe so. Uh, yo, Joe's. What type of year will G have? I think he's gonna have a spectacular year. Um, I wanted to draft him in my fantasy league, but Judge dropped to me, so mm -hmm. I to, I'm I'm sorry. I gotta go with Judge. Mm -hmm. Child turns 28 in August. Okay. Yeah. Trout turns 28 in August. So we have, um, well, I'm just taking a couple of questions here. You guys pepper in, pepper in, pepper. CC said on R2C2, that's his pick for MVP. I, would, I wouldn't doubt it. I would not doubt it. I have some of my Boston friends and something. I think that, you know, what Trout did is that he set the ceiling. He set the ceiling. He said he's the best player in baseball. This is what he gets paid. You can't logically – I mean, you could try. You can ask for whatever the hell you want. You could try to go out in the market and be like, I'm going to get – I want to get this. I want to try to get more than Trout. Everybody's going to say – you're not getting more than Trout. You're not better than Trout. Okay, so let's dial it back a bit, and then let's talk somewhere else. So Trout's the ceiling, and then you got Bryce Harper and Manny Machado down here for those kind of players, and then, you know, you just figure it out right there. Uh, you want to know who really came up? St. Louis Cardinals freaking locking up Paul Goldschmidt for you know he's 31 he was supposed to be a free agent but they locked him up for what what was it what's the paul goldschmidt numbers they this is like a, that's a reasonable deal that's you know a good extension for them so they traded for him gave a prospect and now they got him on a five-year deal so let me look up the goldschmidt contract Hey, look at this. Five years, $130 million. Now, 
Not bad. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Goldie? Yeah. Goldie. Freaking five years. Every, yo, this is the year of the extension. And at first, because of the way that it started with free agency, everybody's like, oh, the players are going to strike. Even me saying the players are going to freaking strike. <laughs> Bro, what do you – everybody's getting paid. Hey, you get an extension. You get an extension. You get an extension. Yeah. That's what it is. Cal mm. being from New Jersey, I think if he was a Yankee, then he would have tremendous. Look, I don't really, I, to be honest, I don't even think players even think about that anymore. Um, I'm sure people grew up Yankee fans, but there was something that my uncle told me, like when he became a professional baseball player and he was in the Angels, he was a Yankee fan and he was in the Angels system. He said, yo, when you become a pro, and you start getting paid for baseball, and this is now your craft, all that fan shit is out the window. Right. All that fan shit's out the window. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm I'm going to wherever they're going to pay me the most, and that's just him being real. That's what he was telling me. Um, I don't care about this team's legacy or what they're doing. Sometimes if the money's close, then I'll look at that. But it's about the money, you know? It's about... That's what these players think about. And I don't blame them. Yo, bro, you, you here for a freaking a short time, here for a good time, not a sh What is it? Not I don't long, hear. Here for a good time, not for a long time. Oh, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know why? I would offer James Paxton. Whoa, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Let's, what? You already traded? He said, no, I would offer James Paxton a five-year. Oh, let's pump the brakes a bit. Okay, Justin. Yeah, let's see if he can let's perform. Say, uh, let's just chill out a little bit, okay? We'll talk about that. Let's when's the, when's the first live stream this year, DZ asked? Um, that's a good question. I have to keep you posted because I'm still trying to figure out what games I'm going to. And since this season is starting, you know how it is in April for me, bro. And I'm going to put out videos regardless. So for every every game, there's going to be a video. But you already know the season starts. I haven't been in the stadium to watch a baseball game since the Yankees got eliminated. You know, so I'm going to want to be there as much as possible. So I'm trying to get like deals and uh, this, that, and the third. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, did you know 24 nerds are running the Yankees? That sounds accurate. Uh, Trout grew up a Philly fan. Yes, he did. 5150. Joe Mar is a good example of a hometown guy. Stay with his hometown team and they still paid him big. Yeah, they paid him big, but it doesn't really always work out that way. And he was he was like a hometown hero. They drafted him there, you know, so. Um yeah, let's see how he performs in the Bronx. We're gonna sign Garrett Cole in 2020. I, I mean, we'll see. I, I'm not. I can't do this to myself anymore. I just can't look ahead anymore. I can't. I just. I can't do it. Tarpley, yes, filthy. What you got to say about Tarpley, Chris? Graven said Tarpley is filthy. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, Tarpley. Tarpley is. He's the man, bro. Tarpley's the freaking man. I, I hope he makes the team, honestly. He goes out there. He looks super poised. He's one of my favorite kids, bro. Like, just bullpen pieces coming up. He, like, he looks like he's been there for years. Am I the only one that feels this way? Who? Tarpley? Yeah. Am I the only one that feels this way about Tarpley? No, no. You've been talking about Tarpley since last year. Oh, wow, man. Facts. Facts. Late, bloom, late bloomer. Guys, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. You guys probably all subscribe to the channel because I think all of you guys, from what I see here, subscribe to the channel. John O'Neill, Tarpley is the kind of lefty they need to come in against a tough lefty batter in a big spot at Yankee Stadium to prevent a short port shot. Yes. You know, for that Benintendi dude, or 
Um, is it Moreland? Is Moreland the lefty? I think he is a lefty. Is Jackie Bradley a lefty? He is, but that is, Jackie Bradley is not a guy that you're bringing in a freaking specialist. You know who, who he kind of reminds me of? And like annoying wise, like the Red Sox used to have like this. Uh, what the hell is that guy's name? They used to play third base for them back in 2004. Oh my gosh, it's killing me right now. Oh, for Boston? Yeah, the um, shit, who the fuck was that guy? They, he, he, he used to hit Mariano well. Mm. I think he was a third baseman, or I forgot his name. Shit, maybe you guys remember in the chat. But that dude, I used to hate that dude. Oh my god, I hated that dude. I hated him. I hated Mark Bellhorn. I hated freaking all those dudes used to look alike. Joe's, you got new glasses? Yes, I do. You like these? You guys like these? These are better than my last one. Yeah, he's not consistent with the command. Yes. Oh my god, Bill Miller. Oh yes. Bro, I hated that dude. Oh my god, I hated that dude. Kevin Yukus. Who's your vote for Yankee Bench once Hicks is officially back? Um Wait. Well, I gotta see who makes the who makes the team, right? We gotta see who makes the team, but I guess I mean DJ LeMay is gonna be one of those guys. Wait. Right? Who else you think? Tyler Wade. Okay, Tyler Wade could be one of those guys. Then Romine is the third one. Has to be the third one. So you're gonna you're gonna go with those guys, or we're not gonna? Well, let's see. Well, what are we gonna do with Voight and Bird? That's the question. That's the real question. That should be some real interesting. What's gonna happen? The way cash. Well, I mean, what would you do with Bird if you pick Voight? I don't know. I have no idea. I I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're going to do. You know what the Yankees need? A 26-man roster spot. That's what they need. They need it to be next year. Major League Baseball started that. They do need that. Buy it. <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know. I. Why is this so weird? Word. Put weight in triple A. I think the Yankees like that versatility thing, man. And he oh. could play, he could play all the outfield spots. He could play second base, third base, shortstop. I mean, how could you not like Tyler Wade as far as a versatility, you know, standpoint? For a guy that you want to have versatility and shit like that, that's that's the guy you want on the team. He's playing all over the place. Can't see Bird in the minors. It's ridiculous. We'll see. He's killing this this spring, man. Bird, Bird has surprised me. And, yo, who in this chat, who in this right here, including you, Chris, thought, Bird is hurt, forget it, surgery. <laughs> or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Adoni B84 just subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Sacks. Hmm? And somebody said uh, Mike Ford is still a thing. Wasn't he, wasn't he traded? I know he's still. Well, to me, Mike Ford is going to be somebody getting traded for sure. Has to be. Hanley has been looking very good, actually. Yeah. Hanley, my bad. 
He lost Ooh. some weight. Kainley lost some weight. Yeah, Kainley, Kainley look, been looking all right. I'm hearing that his fastball is back up to 98 again. He's looking good. He says that they, it's a process. That's what he keeps saying. And then you have, um, wait, oh, Gio Gonzalez. Is Gio Gonzalez going to get a roster spot? Um, I, I mean, I think so. I think so. He's saying that he looks and feels like he's ready, but let's see. Let's see. I want to see him in a game. I think the Yankees are going to see what they have with these kids first, rather than the guy that if he makes it, he's going to have to, you know, you're going to have to pay him $3 million to play. I know it's a, not a good play, a good way to think, but I could see them doing that. Uh, a. Joel's, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. And he subscribed and unsubscribed like 40 times. I don't know what the hell that's about. Mm -hmm. Strange. <laughs> Uh, Joe's, I bought my Yankees Angels ticket and looking to get Dodgers series. Yeah, we're going to West Coast this year, man. Hopefully, we take care of those games early in the season, bro. I don't want the team going out there late in the season. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gio's pitching tomorrow. Gonna have to look into that. What time is tomorrow's game, guys? 105? Yeah, I think I'm done with Clint. Thoughts? I think it's too early. It's too early to be done with Clint. Done, man. 105. You done with Clint? You you done with Clint, Chris? No, 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 no. Way too early. He's 24 years old. I agree. Can't teach that bat speed. I agree. I agree. I agree. What do you think of Jordan Montgomery? I can't think about Jordan Montgomery right now, but hopefully he keeps progressing well and then he comes back. Yeah. I'd rather Gio than Herman Loisic. I think Loisic is going to be in uh, AAA. That's what I think. He hasn't had a good spring. I don't think they want to rush him, and that's not a guy that they want to put. You know, that's their second best prospect in the system. They're not going to want to. Was Loisic his, his numbers this spring so far? I thought he was wrong. I mean, uh, rocked for a couple games. But. He's been so up and down because his control has been all over the place. Yeah, so. so he's been like, ah, shit, man. And you kind of want to root for the guy because you know he's like, he's a real cool dude. And when he came up, he was blowing people away. <coughs> um, But, I mean, this spring itself, 5'11 ERA. 24 and two thirds innings pitched. One and a half whip. I mean, it hasn't been an impressive spring. I mean, how about Sessa is the guy that has surprised the shit out of me? That's the guy. Luis Sessa has surprised the shit out of me. I mean, who is this guy? He's. I, I, I have no words. No words for Luis Sessa. Absolutely no words. It's unbelievable to me. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm looking at him, and I'm trying to, like, poke holes. Like, nah, this has got to be. And he's been consistent the whole time, bro. He's been locating, busting players in and, in and out. You know, it's like he's he's been – ah, he's been looking good, man. Sessa's been looking really good. Lewis Linwood Voigt. What up, Jacob? Bass speed don't matter if you don't make contact. Oh man, you guys coming out killing them. Bold prediction uh, Greg Bird will be the third best hitter on the Yankees. I'll welcome it, you know, but to be the third best hitter, that means he's. Sure. That means he's better than what? Anduhar? You want to say he's better than Anduhar? You want to say that? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Consistency is key. Yeah, I doubt it. I'm not going to be. I mean, you could do it in the regular season, too. Then we'll talk about that. Gio is ready already. Well, he's been getting ready the whole time. Like, even though he's been, he hasn't been signed, he was getting, he's not hurt. 
So he's been he was getting ready the whole time. I don't know how he was working out, but apparently he got his work in. Bird and Gary were considered the best hitting prospects in our system. Would love to see them both kill it. Uh yes. LeMahieu, best hitter on the team. Um, I I would like to see that. Yes, I would like to see that. I haven't seen it so far this spring. Um, but maybe he's a late starter. I don't really, you know, these spring stats are kind of weird, whatever, but where's he at? Where's the spring? Uh, I hate looking at spring stat, uh, stats. It's just annoying. I had a fantasy draft the other day. Um, well, he's batting 220. Oh, sheesh. Who? LeMahieu. <laughs> Let's see. He's batting 184. It says 220 over here. I might be wrong. Maybe he's in an update today, which is even worse. You might be right. Um, can we talk about Gary's defense, though? Bro looking good. He is looking good, except for there was this one game where he had, like, two. I got frustrated. He had two, like, pass balls. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I just you just got to chalk it up, I guess. Yeah, Shreve was DFA'd. I seen that. I seen that. I am so ready for Gary Sanchez defense this season to be like, hello, just come out, freaking throw his balls on the table like, what's good? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he's just rusty. It's all right. I laughed at Kikuchi bum acting like he Tanaka. How? How? I don't understand that. Could you explain that a bit? But anyway, guys, I wanted to let you guys know this is like real impromptu. Like we weren't even freaking planning this shit, right? But um, don't forget to leave a like while you're here, though. But we were um, we're definitely coming out with a podcast pretty soon, right? Um, I'm gonna have the whole setup. You remember how I had the setup in my room? So it's gonna it's gonna be the setup in my mom's basement where there's more space. And we could be able to have, you know, the TV there where we could be able to watch. And at the same time, I could have like a, like a pinstripe strong backdrop or whatever. So that, that way you guys don't see like the, the back of my shit. But it's going to be real cool, man. We going to do this podcast. I'm going to incorporate video. So I might do some live broad, you know, live broadcast while we're doing the, uh, the podcast too. So that's going to be cool. So if you guys want to join for those, um, but yeah, that would be awesome. Cool jacket. Yes, I love this jacket. This is my favorite jacket. I had to get it and I, I got this jacket. Stanton was a mistake. We would have had Harper right now. All right. Yo, keep that same energy at the end of the year, Brooklyn. That's all I got to say. All right. I think Stanton is going to have a retarded year. That's what I think. Bad is that what? Can I say that nowadays? I don't mm -hmm. think so. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whatever, I can't say shit. Can't say anything. I think he's gonna have a. I think this year Stanton's gonna go bananas. He's a guy that's just so. He's so like regimented, that he's so comfortable here now. Uh, you doing a podcast? Gotta have Evan on. Maybe maybe we'll have Evan on. It's gonna be three of us though, so it's gonna be you know. We're probably gonna feel well. Let me let me phrase this correctly, right? I don't want this to come out the wrong way. We gotta uh feel each other out. <sighs> Man, you know what? Forget it. Say <laughs> yes, I do love your profile pick. Pinstripe strong, baby. Let's go. Harper's better than Stanton, bro, and he's a lefty. All right. Just keep that same energy. That's all I gotta say. Just this is one stat I want you to look up and look up WRC plus and look it up between Harper and Stanton and then compare and then come talk to me. Stanton is the new A-Rod trash in playoffs. All right. Okay. Whatever. I guess there's Stanton still under for some reason. Don't know why. 
have Loopy Blogger as a guest one time. He's hilarious. I think Paxton will win 20 games too. Yo, um, so I had a I was on on a podcast with John Boy, and he was asking me. I guess he was he was asking like five questions, and he asked me, "Yo, who like what is your surprise? Like, um, damn, I forgot what the word is that he used, but he said, what's like your basically like an off the wall prediction?" And I said, "Paxton is going to be a top five Cy Young uh, contender this year." That's what I said. That is what I said. Top five. Yeah. I like that. I see that. Is that place either? No, Alexa. Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, you, got a, you got a girl there? <laughs> Alexa. You want to see her? Yo, um. Yo. I agree. I agree. I see uh, Paxton top five. It's a young contender. Judge is going to be in the MVP talks for sure. I, I think Judge is going to have an awesome year, too. And I, I don't know. I know that sometimes you look at stuff with rosy, uh, like rose colored glasses in the beginning of the season. And you just say, this guy's going to do this. And Greg Bird is going to hit 43 home runs. And freaking. And Gio Gonzalez is going to win 20 games. But. The Gio fact Gonzalez, that, <laughs> I think that's safe to say. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's some things that I think can happen. Gary, San Gary Sanchez winning comeback player of the year. That's a possibility. That's a huge possibility to me, especially if he starts going the other way. Um, Which he has so, so far. I, I seen him. He started that day where he had the two doubles or the three doubles. Or He looked good. He looked good going the other way. I like that. I like that. Stand today, you know, laid off two low and away pitches. Yeah, I mean, but he's batting like 340 something. Yo, how many questions John Boy asked you? One came out today with surprises. With surprises. What do you mean with surprises? Uh, you know, replaces Chapman. Or... Uh... No, nah, I don't think that's happening. But I think Chapman is going to be better this year. He, I think he's going to be relying more on that slider. Though. I, think, uh, I think it will be Britain before Arvino. Yo, Chris, what do you think about Sonny Gray talking shit? I haven't even I haven't made a video about that. But Sonny Gray talking shit, man. He's he's someone that uh you know likes to point fingers, he doesn't like to take responsibility. I think it's I mean I don't wish negativity on anybody, but that's that's just sucks. That sucks. Don't, don't put down the that kid that guy is such a weirdo. It's, it's never Sonny Gray's fault, man. Never his fault. It's the weather. Remember it was one time it's like Oh, I pitch really good in day games, but in night games I suck. Or so, in Yankee throw more sliders, throw more sliders, something like that. Yeah, Yankee Stadium, oh. I suck, but on the road I'm better. Or I'm not getting run support, or I'm not doing that. Da, 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 da. Shut the fuck up, bro. It's like too much, bro. Like, bro, just say, listen, it didn't work out. I'm a Cincinnati Red now. I'm keeping moving. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm doing too much. I mean, I, I I hope he does well because I did draft him late. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you drafted that man. That's... He's doing good, man. He's been doing good. My man Brooklyn saying Sonny is a bitch. <laughs> Sonny can't handle New York. Yeah, he can't handle New York. Hey, send, send, not, him not everybody. To, send him to Cincinnati and shit. Not everybody. <laughs> they just send him to Cincinnati. He was either going to be a Padre or a Red. But Tantis probably hurt himself doing velocity. Well. But Tansis, oh, there's a guy named oh Donovan Solano is uh playing in uh for the Giants this year, huh? Former Yankee. 
former Joe. So, <laughs> no, so, um, but yeah, I think the, the thing with the tats is, and that just sucks, but apparently, you know, some people were saying, yo, I can't believe he's blaming his, is he, is he out here blaming his baby that he got hurt? Like, I don't think it's like that. I, yeah, no, I had a baby, so I couldn't yeah, do it. No, 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 I couldn't do it. No, but I don't think it's that. I think I think the shit with Batanzas was is that he was trying to like, you know, I guess you know, and yo, know, I've been there when when you got, you know, um, when you got your girl, your girl's pregnant, and you're waiting your first kid, and it's like you want everything to be perfect. You're freaking reading to the. I, I I used to read the books to the um to to the womb every night. I used to do. It's just mad stuff, you know. What I mean, I'm working extra hours. I'm doing, I don't know. I, I don't know what he's doing, right? Because he's a freaking millionaire. But um, but what's he doing? Um, but I'm I'm just thinking like maybe his mind was more preoccupied with getting everything perfect. Because when it's your first kid, you just want everything to be. Perfect. You want everything to be perfect from, you know, what hospital you're going to, to what, you know, route you're going to, to stuff that you're reading, to clothes that you're buying, to everything. So maybe, maybe he was, um, he was distracted a bit and he did, he did not have the off season that he wanted uh, because all of this is like really new for him, you know, so he wasn't able to like work out how he normally worked out and then he came in to camp and was like he felt like he was behind and then try to make up when you try to do this whole makeup shit man it's never good um yeah i'm watching i'm watching my mad bum right now and also on mob network smack. he hasn't holy shit he's been, he's been getting smacked this spring too yo i was gonna make him cheap <laughs> yeah, keep on getting <laughs> smacked. Keep on getting smacked. A Tyler Wade, Mike Ford, and a bum pitcher for Matt Bum. Yo, Chris, if you see any questions on here, just grab them and just put them shits on here. Just talk about them. Grab them. Red Sox drop off. I'm with that. I am so with that. I am really with that. You got you got Tampa winning the wild card. One of the wild cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I don't even know how they won night. Like, am I the only one? Like, somebody says Tampa won ninety games last year. You're like, what? They they did what? That's crazy. I how long are we streaming for? I don't know. I, I don't know. We just shooting the shit up here. We just just talking nonsense. Yeah. I I don't know. Like, I said, yo, Tampa won ninety games. I'm like. They don't even have a fifth starter. How the hell are they doing this shit? With smoke and mirrors? Kevin Cash, man. Like, you got to give him props. Yeah. Cash they did a phenomenal job. I mean, I hate giving other teams in the AOE's props, but you got to give it what oh, he's doing. Jeff, Jeffrey was trying to tell me something. What happened, Jeff? What's up, Jeff? I left. Bro, we need to win this year. You oh, telling me? What? Oh, my what God. Already? Yeah, Bumgarner's getting mid at. Well, maybe he's just trying stuff out. It's still spring. I guess it's that time. Of, is that time? Uh, yeah, but you gotta, you gotta. That time wow. of month. They're ready next week. Is it? Is it me or the Jackie Bradley Jr. Nunez and Bogarts that the same? Bro, the Red Sox do this all the time. They get players that like look the same. Like if you go back to those, you know, those Doug Mankiewicz, Timlin, Embry, freaking. Um, um, the other guy, it was Embry. Oh, uh, Keith Folk. Yeah, Keith Folk, Veritek. Like, they all kind of look generically the same. You know? They do. <laughs> I, re I really hope the Yankees don't use that opener shit. Listen, that opener shit worked against the Yankees last year. The Yankees did not do good against the opener at they all. Like, they couldn't get a couple of them. They couldn't, yo. Know, they could not do that well. And you know what it is, is that they're so analytically driven, that they they work so much ahead of time against a starter. They like to look into things, and sometimes they don't adapt on the fly, I guess. But Let's 
Mm -hmm. We got a better lineup than us. I don't know, bro. Really got a better, better lineup? I don't know. Who they got? They got a Segura, Harper. Who do you who do you miss more, Ellsbury or Carter? <laughs> Gee, that's that's a rough one. El Ellsbury because of the the catcher's interference. Yeah, that nice clutch catcher's interference, man. Nice, robust clutch. You know what? I think that the biggest hit. What do you guys think is the biggest hit that Ellsbury has gotten in his career as the Yankees? I already know what it is. Let me see if you guys know what it is. What do you think it is, Chris? There's a big hit. I forgot the game, but there was a big – was it in the playoffs? No, absolutely not. No, it was not in the playoffs. I don't know if there was a big hit that he had. I forgot the game. My bad. Who's going to Who's gonna guess what was the biggest hit? Stealing home? Uh Nah. No, that, that was a good one. That was a good one, but that's not it. What do you need? To move my car? <laughs> like that, Jeff. Um, oh, shit. Fuck. Um, yeah. The no, the the biggest hit Jacoby has ever gotten, and nobody has been. In, oh my God, Bumgarner got smacked. Holy shit! Well, the biggest hit. Damn, what the hell was? I I know the biggest hit that that Jacoby Ellsbury has ever gotten, and I'm surprised that nobody has even guessed or attempted to guess, but. Remember when the Yankees were down nine to one to the Orioles, and oh, that was the game that uh, Matt Holiday won, right? The game, yes, the game that oh, Matt Holiday oh, won. If it oh, wasn't for oh. Jacoby, yeah, if it wasn't for Jacoby Ellsbury's grand slam, we would not have been in position to win that game. Well, Judge had a couple clutch home. Uh, was a home run. He had a he had a home run, but it was a solo a solo home run. I yeah. remember straight center. He got it started, uh, right. and that was the same inning that the, that the Grand Slam was in, no? I don't remember, but I think it's sad as fuck that that is the best hit. That one Grand Slam against the damn Orioles, that that is Jacoby Ellsbury's best, like, best game. If I remember correctly, I think that was his first Grand Slam ever. Yeah, you're right. Starling Castro tied the game up. In the uh, in the bottom of the ninth inning, I think, with yeah. a homer, with a two-run homer, I think. That's when he got down to his knee, right? Yeah, he got down to his knee and he hit it out. I remember that. Man, what a game! Fuck, man. Fuck. I ugh, this guy. And Jeffrey wants me to move this damn car. Move the keys. I told him, but I don't. I don't know. He has my keys. He's not. Word. Inside the Empire, do talk about. Yeah, oh, that's a book. I just wanted to let you guys know. And I'm going to get off in a second, right? But Inside the Empire, I'm going to get that book. I'm going to order that book and I'm going to read it. And I think I might do something throughout the season too, or I might leave it for the. I mean, I'll leave this shit for the off season probably. Well, I'll just read certain books and I'll review them, and I'll say, oh, this, that, and the third, and I'll even try to see if I can get the people that are from that that have the book onto the channel. Like I know that I could probably get Brian Hulk in here and interview him about the book and what made him want to write it and all that stuff. So uh, I did read the Brian Hulk book. Um, I liked it, so that's good. But those Yankee books are pretty good, man. I like those because you kind of immerse yourself in learning there. But guys, if you guys haven't already, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and all that. All right. Um, follow.
follow me on Twitter at Joe's McFly. Follow the official page at Pinstripe, Pinstripe Strong. Strong. Pinstripe Strong. And you can follow Chris at Chris McFly, right? Chris McFly. My name is Chris. That's Chris right there. Chris McFly. I'm going to do some more streams and stuff like that. I just can't wait for the season to come up, man. But Get everybody for that podcast. It's yeah, we got soon. that. We got that podcast coming soon, guys. But like I always say, make sure you guys keep the pinstripes on, keep them strong. Let's go, Yankees, man. <laughs>